All right, greetings math people. What we're gonna do is find averages and a good example of finding averages is just figuring out how long your stride is. We'll use this in other examples that I'll give later on this week. But what we're basically gonna do is we're just gonna walk a certain distance and then we're gonna measure how long that distance is and just divide it by how many steps I have. So let's take a look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So basically, it takes about 12 strides to go to the first line to the fifth line. I'm just gonna add those up, divide by my steps, and then we'll find out how long my stride is, and we'll do that in the classroom. All right, welcome back, everybody. I measured the distance between the lines in the parking lot, and they're about two and a half uh, meters in between each one, and I walked in between from the first one to the fifth one. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So from there to there, that's about two and a half meters. Another two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So that's five, that's five. So the whole distance from there to there is 10 meters. So I walked 10 meters, I took 12 strides at 12 strides. When I divide that out, it'll tell you how long one stride is. So. 10 meters. So I'm just going to use the arrow method way for this. So if 10 meters represents 12 strides, and that just looks terrible, I want to know how much one stride would be. So that's one step. So key, how do you turn a 12 into a 1? The basic idea is just divide by 12. So I just do the same thing to this side. I divide by 12, and 10 divided by 12 uh, turns out to be 0.83 repeating, or if I estimate it, about 0.83 meters. So one centime 100 centimeters makes up a meter. So basically this turns out to be an 83 centimeter stride. So my, just about less than one meter, which seems about right to walk one meter. It's like you're stretching and you're doing this weird Monty Python walk. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will attach a Google Doc. I will attach a Google Doc to this assignment so that way you can do a few problems on your own and then just let me know you get it by hit the turn in button on top. For the rest of you guys, if you don't have any work to do, you can just try to do some other problems on your own. Why don't you go outside and try to measure how long your stride is just for the fun of it. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I have a few videos up here that you can watch. I might include a food video with one of those and some other math videos on there as well. So hope you guys are keeping safe and having a good time. Keep on mathing.